Welcome to this week's Dirt Shed where we have got some amazing fails and bales and you wait till you see the bike vault. Plus there was loads of racing last weekend, there was World Cup Cross Country, Downhill and Enduro World Series. And Wondraker just released an amazing new carbon fibre superbike. Tell you all about it. Special stuff and we're talking about bonking. Yeah, it's the Dirt Shed Show. Okay, well I can't believe it, but we are talking about bonking. But first off, what is it, Neil? What is bonking? Well, some people also call it hitting the wall. It's just when you go off really hard for a hard ride and you just run out of either fitness or you just haven't fueled it right. So yeah. you run out of energy and you absolutely can't ride your bike anymore. You're an absolute mess. Yeah, I've done the, colour, the colour drains out. The reason we're talking about this is because in the World Cup cross country this week, I think that Van der Poel blew up. He bonked. He went he, very hard. He hit the wall. Um, Doddy, have you ever bonked? And what do you think about Van der Poel? Did he bonk? Well, I'm not sure if Van der Poel did. He doesn't. There's a lot did. of talk he of the doesn't. high altitude. Yeah, 1900 yeah. meters. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty high for an XC race. Yeah. Have you have you ever experienced it? Um, I haven't bonked for a very long time. <laughs> I, I've, I've had to limp home before. But. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know about is, have you ever bonked? Hit the wall? blown up big time on one of your rides. I love hearing your stories in the comments section down below. And we're gonna do a poll on it, uh, right above Doddy's head duck. Um, right, first option is, I've bonked, and I absolutely hate it, it's terrible. Second option, I've never bonked, I always get my nutrition perfect, show off. And then the third option is, oh, I'm dreading my first bonk. <laughs> should we all say, should we just say bonk one more time? Bonk. Okay, on to last week's poll, which is all about what is the discipline for you? And I know you all pick trials, right? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, right, let's get into what people were saying first. Eddie Masso, he's disappointed. Right. Uh, there's no four cross or dual slalom button. I'd press that. Yeah, I, I, well, I'd have been tempted. I'd have been tempted. Well, maybe do a bigger poll next That time. didn't make it in? What? No. Oh, I'm, I wasn't here last week, so I don't know what you guys were doing. I'd, I'd have put that in. Oh, it's not my fault, Eddie. Maybe yeah. next time. Anyone else? Anyone else, Doddy? Yeah, Crazy Kid Gamer 66. I do all the types of riding. XC, go get around town to the trails. Trail enduro to get up to the hills. And the most fun part, trials to show off. Yes, oh. trials to show off because obviously that was the number one choice on the results. No, it wasn't. It was the least favourite. <laughs> what? It was uh, a fair read it. Hang on a second. So slope style 6%, cross country 16%, downhill 17%. That's a surprise. It's quite low, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's quite yeah. low, so it's Trail Enduro, I guess. Trail I Enduro, 56%. Yeah. The winner. Trials, no, the winner. Trails and Enduro. <laughs> Trials got 3%. Okay, now it's time for the Neil with News Donahue. That's me. That's you. Well, um, Self and Dolly were at Andorra last weekend for the World Cup Cross Country and Downhill, where we took a look around the pits, didn't we? Loads of cool stuff actually going on there. Wheel size debates and. Uh, yeah, well, I heard some of the Downhill boys have gone back down to 27.5 now. Wow, I had a chat with Brendan Fairclough. Yes. Here's what he told us. So, Brendan, we're at Andorra, one of the roughest, steepest tracks of the year, and you just got the 29 option for the Scott Gambler, and you're back on the small wheels. Yep, uh, we went to uh, Lear Gang and it was the first time I had the chance to ride the 29 and um, you know I felt like that track it's it's not smooth but it's like a lot of motorway, high speed, like not not super tight woods or anything and I thought it was a track to try, I try it here so I put them on, had the whole weekend, uh, felt really good, felt like on the edge, really good run and um, I did my race run and I was way off the back. <laughs> so obviously it's easy to blame something but yeah. um, uh, we did some more testing last week in Innsbruck on 29 and, and it's a weird feeling for me because I feel on the edge, I feel fast, I feel really comfortable and it, I feel, it feels quite normal. Yeah. But then the times are not there for me, like yeah, it feels like, like I'm going the same speed as I do on this. But um, To back on there. what you know, I suppose. But to the results, yes. Danny Hart was third, I thought he was going to win it, but Greg yeah. Menard pipped him, always consistent. However, Troy Brosnan, who qualified fastest, Got his second World Cup win. It was an amazing ride. Wow. So fast, it's unbelievable. 27.5 yeah. wheels, of yeah. course. Yeah, I, I mean, the onboard footage is terrifying. It looks, yeah. it looks like it's sped up, doesn't it? In the women's race, the overall is much more open because Rachel Atherton, who missed the last round, was back this weekend, yes. uh, still nursing that injured shoulder, so she only got fourth place. So Still pretty good. Still pretty good for oh, comeback. Still very good, yeah. yeah. Uh, Miriam Nicole took the win from Tani Seagrave and then Marine Caribou in third. Yeah, uh, Tracy. Hannah took a bit of a tumble. She a lot of crashes. She, did, yeah. she was lead. She was up when she crashed. 
Um, but she's still in the lead on the overall. Ooh. So it's a really exciting championship for the Lens girls. Lens this weekend, of course. Yeah, yeah. What about the XC, Dolly? Because that was pretty cool this week. Do you know it? what? I was really stoked on watching this yeah. because it's uh, crazy high. It's 1,900 metres. Yeah. As we found out, the pits are actually at the top. So yeah. a lot of the guys don't hang out up there. They just yeah. come up purely for their riding. That's true. A lot of the racers turn up like just the day before the race as well. Yeah, it's quite, quite late, mm. actually. Nino Schurter, how did he do? Well, 24 seconds clear pretty much for most of the race, wasn't he? It is some trials, so. Trace. See him at the finish line. Yeah, he's... Just back ops. He is amazing, that yeah. guy. He can, he's got such good riding style and he's... Um, it was a bit of a masterclass, wasn't it? Yeah, well, it was kind of about that first straight for me, I think. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, off the line, Vanderpoel took off. And we were thinking, oh, it's a bit challenging. Oh, bonker. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> know. That's what the cyclocross That's races do, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah so super hard. fast. Yeah. yeah. But by the, by the top of that first climb, Nino had taken the front and he never looked back. Yeah. He didn't yeah. Even look over his shoulder. Well, Matthias Fuku was second. Jordi Saru was third. And Sam Gaze from New Zealand was in fourth place. Uh, Did you hear that, Dolly? Yeah. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that, people. Don't worry. We're going to address that. New Zealand thing. He only yeah. just lost out in that fourth place though as well. Was yeah, like don't stop being nice to him now. <laughs> what about in the women? Sorry, Sam. Yeah. Balamoyna were absolutely dominated. I watched Pretty this race. Pretty much a mirror image of what yeah. Nino did, to be yes. honest. Yes. Uh, and on the hardest bit of the course, she just took off on that really steep climb yeah. and yeah. led the race all the way through. One minute 37. Yeah, massive yeah. gap. Annika Langbad uh, second, Gunnarita right Dahl third. See, Yolanda well, Neff was struggling. Yeah, yes. I mean, I think yeah. a lot of the riders struggled then. It must mm. have been altitude. I'm not too sure about the bonking thing. Yeah. So tons of racing going on this weekend, and it was an EWS round as well, and another wet one. Oh, it looked looked horrendous. It was supposedly very slippy as well, lots yeah. of switchbacks, especially on the first day. So it was in Milan, in France, uh, and the Frenchies took over. Yeah. Top five places in the men's race were all French, so Adrian Dei took the win. Yeah, top top two in the women as well. Yeah. Yeah, so Seal Ravenel won the women's, of course. And then Cordelia, made... second. Yeah, and Isabeau Cordelia, yes. Time to take a look at what you guys have been saying on the channel this week. And let's start with the comments from last week's Dirt Shed show. I think this one's quite interesting, actually, from Free Combi, who's saying, um, hey, guys, I disagree about more professional photos in the bike vault. Bike vault is called the bike vault for a reason, not the photography vault. It's a good point. Um, we can improve the photos, but take better ones, but it should remain a focus on the bike. Now, I think that's true. Well, I think Free Combi, yeah. you're right, and it's really important to admit when you're wrong, and we're yes. doing that. Yes, we are, and we're going to be doing more of that throughout the show. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay, what's next? Sebastian Suppers says, that's the laziest bike vault of all time. All the bikes just propped up on trees. Find yeah. a stick, people. Yeah, now that's a good point. If you want it to be about the bike, yeah. then maybe use a little stick just out of shot to hold the bike up right. Pedals at three o'clock from drive side and you're going to get a great shot of your bike. I'm the king of finding the correct yes, stick for yes. the job. Stick finder, Neil there. Tom Tal has sent his bike in eight times to the bike vault and didn't get in. Disappointed. Ah, oh, it just shows how hard people are trying, but maybe hold tight, watch the rest of this show. <laughs> See what happens now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now to the hive of the comment section of the yeah. Sam Gaze Pro Bike check that young Doddy filmed over here. Yeah. Um, lots of people upset that you called Sam an Aussie. Yes. He's a Kiwi, in yeah. fact. This is a pro bike check for Australian racer, Australian racer, Australian racer, Sam Gaze. I'm very sorry about that, Sam. What can I say? I was so busy looking at your lovely bike that I kind of forgot where you're from. Got distracted. Yeah. And it's, a, it's not an easy mistake to make, but you did make it. No, it is and, an easy it, mistake it, to it make. It was an easy yeah. mistake to Sam make. Sam Gay's an awesome ride. He's yeah. still under 23, but he's chosen to ride in the elite class. And it's been my pick a few times. Yeah. Uh, I've got fourth, so. Yeah, well, I think yeah. he's definitely a big talent for the future. But can we hear a few of those comments, Neil? Just a couple, just to just to make sure Doddy, you know, gets a vibe from the viewer there that, you know, <laughs> they're not happy about you getting the contract wrong. Yeah. I mean, that's guys, well, we don't make mistakes. Well, Ben Aura said, you've just that's greatly funny. offended every New Zealander. Disappointing, we hate being confused with Australia. I think it's a bit like England and Wales. Isn't that a bit harsh for oh. Australia as well, though? Yeah, that's, a bit, that's a bit rude, isn't it? <laughs> Won't do it again. It's yeah. harder for Sam, isn't it? Um, Tolate Demano says, don't worry, uh, don't worry, people. Doddy will be called out on the Dirt Shed show. Yeah. Yes, he is being. Yes, yes. Anyway, that's probably enough of uh, putting you through the mill there. Um, last one there is from Imperial Ed, who says, now that's how you do a bike check. Nice one, Doddy. So you did the, you did the main job right. Is he being sarcastic, though? He might be. I don't think he was. I hope you're not, because thank you for that comment. Because I thought it was quite good. Yeah, yeah. Spectacularly. I think, you needed, I think you needed that one. I did. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, now it's time for a progression session and see what you guys have been doing. Uh, first up, we've got Stephen Hennan, and it says, My son, 13 year old look, was featured on progression session at the pump track in Landegla. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, being on the channel motivated him to progress even more. Nice. This is a video of him going big. That's what we want to see. Right, I hope he is go. going big. At Rab's he bike does. park. This is uh, not far from me as well. It's a really cool bike park in mid Wales. Oh, he's coming in hot. That's, Whoa. A, that's a big old jump. That is that's a, a whopper. Yeah. Big old. He is fully committed. Nice one, Luke. Nice. That is amazing. Yeah. Really cool to see. Very, very cool. Good bit of riding. Next one is from Do Thomas Van Houten, who's been doing some bunny up training. He's usually riding in clips, but this is him progressing from bunny up and in clips to doing it on flats, which is what you should definitely do because it gives uh, you a much better bunny up. I always recommend this because yeah. it's so easy to cheat with, clip uh, with clips that you just pull up the back yeah, wheel, but he's doing right. it. It takes a lot of practice to it's get coming. your hips. It's yeah. definitely coming. Thomas is getting yeah. it. There, see? Whack. Getting some pop. Now, to go bigger, yes. I would say try and get a bit lower. So if you look at the video, when you're doing your manual, the hips are still quite high. So get right down to the back wheel, and then you'll have a lot of space to stand up from, and you'll get a bigger bunny hop, but it looks amazing. Yeah, yeah good work. Perfect bit really of progression. Cool. Thanks for that. And the last one comes from Ava Alberg in Newbury Park, California, and she's hitting this cool little kicker out in the car park. She hasn't got much run up for it. Oh. First go, she got pretty bucked. Like What's that? It's like a sort of homemade thing, actually, isn't it? Mm, On the basketball court. I think that it's a great bit it's of riding, but landing as there. your dog barks is a very clever trick. <laughs> nice Love one, Ava. Great progression session. Right, you know what's next, lads. Get ready. It's first, first try, try Friday. Friday. So we've got two First Try Fridays this week. The first one comes from Jair Bear Gaming, and he's sending this pretty whopping step down. Check it out. Yes, this is unbelievably big. Here he comes. Oh, <laughs> decent size, that is. And it's that always is, scary hitting someone that, that first huge, time. Big yeah. step down. You can't generally see the landing until you're yeah, right that, on the table. That is what First Try Friday is all about, for Love sure. It. Yeah. What else we've got? We've got the second one. Yeah, it's from Farm Pedals. And this is like a pretty decent sized double. Oh, oh smooth as well. I had really yeah. nice, nice style. Jump. Kind of hung it there a moment. Yeah. Hung it a moment. That is great first try Fridays. Uh, we love seeing your first crack at a jump or a trick or maybe even a new bike. Keep them coming to dirtshed at gmbn.com. But let's get on to those badges. Here's your first try Friday markers, lads. Time for Tack of the Week with Doddy. Yeah, so this week there's a really cool new Mondraker Foxy Carbon bike that's just been launched. So it's an all-mountain bike. It's not really designed for enduro racing, although I'm sure some people may do that. Um, I actually checked out a prototype of this bike a couple of months back at their headquarters in Spain. Um, it was Alloy, the one I, I checked out. But they did show me a pre-pre-production carbon mock-up, which just looks amazing. Yeah. You can see that on the screen now. Um, the bike's just been Looks released. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, and so they've upped it now. So it's got 150 mil travel out back rather than 140 as it had before, and it's got a few features that you see on the bigger brother bike, the June. So it's got adjustable head angle cups, like this comes stock with the frame, and also adjustable chainstay chips. So you can, you know, you can change your the ride field. It's almost mm. you see that more often probably on downhill really, bikes, didn't you? Sort yeah, of bringing that yeah. technology down to the shorter travel bikes. Good and to see. Yeah, good to see for tech courses. You can run the bike shorter and steeper, and for those fast flat out stuff, mm. rake it out a bit. But Mondraker were sort of innovators of that. What they call it, forward, forward geometry. Yeah. So yeah, longer front end bikes, which That's I think right. everyone sort of follows it. Yeah, everyone yeah. seems to have adopted that mm. now, don't they? But yeah, certainly um, very versatile looking bike. Competition time, and I get to announce the results of our Valnod competition. Uh, the first person to guess the XE results was Tom Smith, who guessed Scher and Bella Moyner. Well done. Uh, you are a winner. You'll be receiving a GMB and goodie bag. And on the downhill side, it's Dion Hales. Got four correct entries on that one, but it was randomly chosen. And of course, you picked out that. Uh, Troy Brosnan won, and so did Miriam Nicole. Good nice. job. Lens of Hyder Comps going live on social today, so get in that as well. Chance yes. to win some stuff. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's, it's live. Time for hacks and bodges. So, first one comes from Philip Smith. Um, he's 38 years old, but he dug out his Lego. Yeah. <laughs> to make one of those ble uh, bleeding bro blocks. Bleeding ah, blocks, that's not yeah. easy to say. That's, a good, um, that's pretty good. Yeah, he'd watched one of your videos, actually. Yeah. He'd watched one of your videos. 
Um, and yeah, got the idea there and used to be a Lego. Clever, it's a three out of that. It's yeah, it is a three out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice job, nice job. What you got, Doddy? Yeah, this is a pretty cool one as well. So this is from Callum Kelly and he's basically got his dropper post clamp and he's using that in place of the lock-on clamp. Oh, so nice. Just to tidy that up his neat. controls on the bars. That's a hack. That is really yeah. neat. It's nice. I like that one. I'm gonna blow you guys out of the water and I don't think we've saved any weight on this one. <laughs> Check this out from Max Darrow. Look at that. What? That's right, that is a wooden phone holder on his handlebars. Using a bit of ply, a bit of bungee yes. to hold on his 500 pound uh, phone. It was cheap to buy one for 30 bucks, so I made one from scrap wood in my garage. Um, it's, it's really ugly, bodge. but very, very clever, Max. I like it. <laughs> Okay, caption contest. Look at this horrible photo from last week. Wow, why, who chose that? I risked my life to take that picture. We're doing about <laughs> well, 30 miles did. an hour as I've got. You took one for the team <laughs> that day, man. You took one for the team. Right, let's get into what captions we've got and we'll pick a winner. First one from you, Doddy. Uh, Louis Patrick Gila. Um, that aerodynamics position will not make you faster. The gas could. Oh, that's, that's, horrible. that's an horrible thought, isn't horrible. it? Horrible. There's a couple of bum related jokes. Adam Beavers, Blake found he was the butt of all the jokes. And that's clever. Baggy Roo, Blake could end up in jail for peddling that much crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that could be that's, one that's winning at the moment. Yeah. Last one is Frank Drebin who says, Blake, we've beaten around the bush, but after this photo, it's plain to see your nuts. Oh, I think that's a winner. That's a good username as well. Frank Drebin, that's from Police, um, where it was called. That's very Frank, good. Yeah. You let us know Those last awesome. two were very good. <laughs> Who, who's the winner? Who's the winner? Frank Drebin. Frank Drebin, yeah. you are a winning winner. Get in touch and we are going to send you a pock pack. Just like that one over there, I can't reach it, but it's coming to you. Um, this is this week's photo. We'd like your captions for this. It's Rachel Atherton looking, well, overdressed? Overdressed, we'd say, yes. Let us know in the comment section down below and you might be a winner. Okay, to my favorite bit of the show where we get to look at your viewer edits. Um, and I love the fact that we get so many views for you. Um, it's our pleasure to do that for you. So first one this week is a great video from Chris Edwards. Check this out, guys. It's unbelievable. He's coming from work. He's having a, re he wants a relaxing day, riding his bike around the garden. And this can't be his garden. It's got a full on, garden. It's got a full -on trail. Sections. That's not his garden. I'm thinking it's not his garden, is it? That no, can't that's be. That's a joke. Or is he a farmer? Is Chris a farmer? Oh, that Chris. looks like a proper mountain bike track. Nice bit of style there. It's a great little video. Oh, He's got. He can there. throw that back end around, right? That's really cool. It is a great viewer edit, and it's made us all jealous. slightly jealous. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so so it's a small that's cool. Anyway, so he's got a whole. He's got brace tape. This is crazy. Now, your viewer edits is one of our favourite things to watch uh, each week. Uh, we love receiving your emails uh, and to the links. So keep them coming to dirtshed.gmbn.com. You can see it just down there. Um, and we'll get a look at them and hopefully we can get you lots of views like those two guys. Good and job. if it ever goes wrong, you can submit them to Fails and Bails. Oh, and yeah. This week, we've got a winner for the <laughs> Fail and Bail of the Month. Yeah, it's a classic bit of video, this. This it's is Charlie Predon. So have got a 661 goodie bag coming your way. Yeah, who, who gets this footage? Of his, is, is it the rear wheel or the front wheel? I just, it's the rear wheel. It's incredible. It's absolutely crazy. That's definitely a winner. Right, so into this week's Fails and Bales, and we've got one here from Christopher Hecke. Um, to get us into it, let's see what he's up to. Ooh. Oh my goodness. GMBN man. jersey going down. Full on GMBN jersey. He's taking a big hit. Oh, that was bad. Oh my goodness me. Yeah. Mr. Oh, Bridge, yeah. another GMBN jersey. GMBN jersey. Oh, representing. Cheers, guys. Run VT. Okay, time for Insta bangers and shout outs. And I'm gonna start with an Insta banger. I wanna throw you to Paul Baz's Instagram page. Uh, had a really awful accident a couple of years ago at uh, Rampage. Um, but he is making such an amazing comeback. He's back on a bike. Yeah, he's awesome. always inspiring. He's putting up posts and he's always, he always inspires me. So I wanna throw you guys to him and uh, check it out because he's an amazing rider, amazing guy. And I'm glad to see him doing well. Awesome yeah. news, yeah. yeah. 
Okay, it's time for the bike vault. Love seeing your bikes, I can't wait. I know it's a whip around the world this week, so Whoa, I'm looking forward to seeing. Let's get in there, let's go. Boom, we're in. Foes from Adam Everett, who's 17. Oh, awesome it's a nice bike. shot, it's a nice shot. It's got a lot of bike. What I've showed a bike like that when I was 17. You know what, I love it. What's I that shock, it? Doddy? I forget what that's called. That's a Kernet. That's the one. Okay. Yeah. Can I, can I? Because I really, I think it's so, like, back there, it's amazing. Yeah. Go on, man. Super nice, yes. Adam. Whoa, look at that. Ooh, camera so clean. What's that? That's, that's, in that's in New Zealand. I know a guy who's from there, bullet. Sam Gaze. Anyway, right, uh, let's, uh, let's so say nice. that's a nice. It's nice. Uh, David Hunter. David Hunter in, in Wales, bike park. in the UK. Can't really see that much of I can't bike, see right? enough of the bike. I can't, can't, can't tell nice. what bike it is. It's a nice. lot of sky, not a lot of bike. Not often you see that. Need more so. bike. Oh, yeah. David Meyer. David Meyer. Bike the Gorilla bike. Gravity Trail pistol. Location. I want to ride that trail? Oh, it's yeah. rad. Yeah. Location, Buffalo Creek. Sorry. That's good. Yeah, that's a super nice. I think. Yeah. That's yeah. a super nice. Super. Double nice. biker. Double biker. Does that count? Jamie Tilling. Double biker. Let us know what you think about double bikers in the bike vault. I'm not sure. I'm not giving it super nice. I'm holding this away from you. That's nice. Two nice. James bikes. Tilling. Two nice bikes. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Jeremy right. Botchnet, Ontario. See, so, yeah, that does it for me. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Well kitted simple, out, simple yeah. bike. Looks like it's a good ride. Yeah. Come on. Come on, man. Super nice. Whitey. Oh, yeah. Grats. I've raced around there before. It's a nice part of the world. The back wheel's not in shot. That's frustrating. It's a very nice bike. He you shot that square format for an Instagram. Very it? nice bike. I oh, know. I'm, I'm taking my hands away. It's up to you. Oh, that's good. I like it. Super well, nice. Well, you know, yeah. the horn's there. White. A teen, France. Is that G one hundred and sixty or? Yeah, it is. Yeah, nice oh yeah, oh, I, I think it's nice. It's nice. I think it's nice. It's nice. Another one. Another one. Yeah, popular. This one's popular. super nice. Axmore. Yeah. Love how I love the reflections in the water. It looks great. I know she's it's gone cool. up to three squeaks. Yeah, I'm enjoying the squeak. <laughs> Inconsistent. This week. Tim yeah. Steele, Norco. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. Nice. It's got nice a pretty uh, like nice. low profile back tire on that bike. Yeah, yeah. Reverse mullet. Yeah, that's nice. Toby Gray, New South Wales. Nice, it's a lot of view and not a lot of bike. The bike's nice, but the views. Oh, that's nice. Whoa, orange. Yeah, 27 orange. Yeah. What is that seat post? Uh, looks like an original gravity dropper. Oh, cool. something similar. Can't wow, tell. I mean, this is cool. Look, with the cable yeah. going in the back. Yeah. And yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Think? That's Maybe nice. a. That's no. Nice. Tommy Brooks from Scotland on his track. Nice. 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 Like golf it's course. nice. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. like Canyon Nerve, yeah. Urban Rosenvist. Rosenvist. Uh, Sweden. I think that's a super. That nice. looks like the place I rode in Sweden. That looks super nice. Yeah. Stop Lots it. of Sweden does look the same, though, dude. That is true. I think that's cool. Super nice. And we're out of the box. Oh, oh, what? Keep sending your man. bikes to dirtshed at gmbn.com for a chance to be in the bike vault. Coming up on the channel this week, tomorrow we've got a pro bike check with Rachel Athens coming. This time we've promised it a few times it's coming. And on Sunday it's Clips versus Flats, a cross country edition where I ride a bike with a power meter, a heart rate monitor, mm. just to see what the difference was. Yeah, really interesting results on that. Yeah, and on Monday we've got seven things you didn't know about carbon fibre. And then on Tuesday is top five ways to ride scary terrain. Oh, nice. Uh, Wednesday, we have got basic car park skills that you can do anywhere. So really useful one, looking forward to seeing it. And on Thursday, we've got our regular Ask GMBN. Uh, Friday, of course, we will be back in the shed and yeah. we'll see you then. So click down here for five changes to make your bike feel brand new. And if you want to learn how to ride steep terrain, click over here. And you've got to click on this logo to subscribe. You'll get a brand new video every day of the week. And you've only got one last thing to do. Sing the Hacks and Bodges thing. No, give us a thumbs up like. And leave your comments too. And sing this. Oh no. Three. <laughs>